Hi, Leo. Welcome to your reading for January 2021. Please show me oops, what Leo needs to know here or see. Thank you. I hope you all had a nice holiday. Your first card. Um, I didn't do a shuffle song for the, the Januaries. I don't think I'm going to do one for any of them. Just feels like... Um, just the cards are needed. So, page of swords in the upright. You're learning something. This guy is facing out towards the world. Learning something. Communicating something. This feels like you communicating something. Watching something. It's called surveillance and activity. So you're just watching. You could be watching and you have something to say, but it kind of feels like you're, you're not saying anything. You have your back to something. The world in the reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think you're turning your back on something that didn't get off the ground. Something that is not... Um, this is something that hasn't completed. And like it feels like something that's stuck. Something that... Um, maybe it won't budge. So you're moving on. Or you could be learning how to unstuck this, but it feels like you're kind of leaving it sitting there like a, something unfinished that you're leaving behind, that you're walking away from. But it also feels like you're protecting something behind you that's not finished. In the why? You have the page of coins in the upright. Savoir faire, economy. So getting a little bit of money. This kind of feels like starting a business or working, learning and working. But right in between is something that is not finished. A cycle that needs to complete. <clears throat> and it feels like you're moving forward regardless. It also feels like this could be a message about something that needs to be finished. Something big. Could be travel related. And you're doing some kind of research. It almost feels like someone said, um, this thing needs to be done. It's, it got left behind or it got forgotten about. Um, you have to complete something. You might have to travel to do it. Or, you, or there could be a travel delay as well. And that's you going, all right, I'm, I'm on it. How are you going to feel? The Ace of Swords in the upright. Someone's giving you a chance to redeem yourself in some way. And you're really eager to learn how to do it. Someone's giving you a chance to fix your reputation. Um... Like this feels like it could have been um, something embarrassing, something that was um, missed, something um, that someone forgot about, like a work project or it could even be a relationship that, um, I don't know, like it, it um, somebody wants a second chance and it feels, actually it feels like you want a second chance at something, at work or in a relationship, and someone is saying, you have one chance. 
to fix this, but it requires some kind of learning. And you're like, yep, I'm on it. Your advice. The Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. She's a multitasker. This could be you, Leo. So you're very passionate. You have to put your heart into this. It might require you to be the boss of something in some way. You might... Um, you might have people that you have to direct, but you have to learn about something at the same time. It kind of feels like a, like a test. Like maybe you're, you're starting a new job, but it doesn't feel like a new job because this is in the reverse. It feels more like you're fixing something or you're redoing something. And this is going to redeem you. This is making you feel good. This is making you feel like you have another chance. This could also be saying something. This could also be making money. And it's making you feel better. It's making you, um, maybe you felt, maybe you didn't know what you were worth before. And now you're, you're really getting, like it feels very confident, but it feels like something new. All these pages. And in the advice, this is saying to really connect with your inner queen, with your inner boss, with your inner... Um, Someone very, very capable. Someone who's very passionate. I feel like this Queen of Wands really wants to turn this around. So put everything into it. Bottom of the deck. The Knight of Swords in the reverse. This is something you don't know how to do. This is saying to me to keep something simple. Like don't overwhelm yourself. I feel like this is something to do with building things. Because the page of coins in this deck is the commander de construction du palais ballet so this is the guy it's like the foreman and it feels like he's telling you what to do and he's only a page <clears throat> excuse me so i feel like you you lost face with somebody or something at work or it's a relationship that you want a second chance in. Whatever it is, you're being elevated. You're being, you're being elevated, but you're learning at the same time. And you need to keep it simple. One thing at a time. Because this is something you don't know. This is something you don't understand. This is new to you. Learning on the job. Learning as you go. Four of coins in the reverse. Ace of wands in the reverse. Eight of wands in the upright. Four of wands in the upright. I still don't know what card this is, but it's called the globe and it looks beautiful and I love it. We'll get there in a minute. Bottom of the deck. Queen of coin, or sorry, Queen of Cups in the reverse. All right. So under this learning card, this surveillance card, spy card, 
Um, I feel like this is you. I feel like this is you saying, yep, I'm on it. I'm going to turn this thing around, whatever it is that's stalled or needs to complete. You're going to finish it or you're going to get it. Yeah, you're, you're trying to turn this cycle. So either there's a second chance at work or in a relationship um, or you need to finish it. But it feels like a second chance to me. This feels like you want a second chance in something to redeem yourself in some way. Could have something to do with making money. Could, and this is, can also mean your work. This can also mean a long distance relationship. So four of coins in the reverse. Obstacles. So it feels like you're having trouble finding information or you're having trouble um, like pulling it out of people. Like it feels like people are holding on to stuff, holding on to the info that you need. This is being stuck. Not seeing any way out. Not knowing how to get past an obstacle. Not knowing how to turn the cycle. So it feels like you're trying to fix a relationship or a workplace situation or something and you literally don't know how and you can't even find out where to get the information. And people won't give it to you. Or everywhere you look, you, you hit a dead end in some way. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Persecution. You're beating yourself up. You could also be beating yourself up about whatever this failure was. That's, it feels like something failed, something went off the track, something got left behind, something got neglected. So it feels like you're kind of beating yourself up because you don't know how to do it, but you want to. You want to redeem yourself here. You want to set the record straight in some way. Um, again, I feel like you're trying to fix your reputation or something like that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, ace of page of coins in the upright and eight of wands in the upright. A lot of communication. This is, um, physical attraction. This is back and forth. Maybe, maybe Somebody came on a little bit too strong here. This alone is not a bad card. It's not about abusive communication, but it's right beside this abuse card. So someone felt abused. Someone came on too strong. It also took the life out of somebody. Like it, it made them feel at the bottom. They felt like they didn't have any opportunities. But this is, it feels like it's, it's trying to understand. Maybe you're asking a lot of questions. Maybe this person doesn't really want you to ask any questions. It's like, no, you're going to figure it on your own. <laughs> That's what this feels like. It feels like this person won't give you anything. Like if you ask the wrong questions, you get kind of like your head bit off or something like that. But you're like, but I want to show who I am. I want to show what I'm made of. I want to show um, that I'm not this, you know, it kind of feels like you're being blamed for something. And maybe, maybe you did have something to do with something. I don't know. But um, regardless, you're trying to redeem yourself. I feel like you really want this job or this relationship. You don't want something to end. That's You're trying to stop something from turning. Give me another chance. This could also be someone wanting to communicate and someone else saying no. Or it's like I was saying before this, oh, someone's drip feeding you information. It really feels like you're at an elevated position. Someone is giving you a chance, but they're really not giving you any help. You're trying to save something or you're trying to get something to a new cycle. Like you, you could be, um, something's dragging you down. Something like a, an ex-relationship or um, duties from a previous job or something like that. This could also be somebody constantly communicating with you and saying, like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 
not giving you any um, way out. Like you feel, it feels like you're a little bit on the hot seat. You're expected to do a lot of different things all at the same time. Learn how to do it at the same time and not getting very much info. It almost feels like um, this guy is open, giving you information, but there's something coming in between to stop it or distort it or something. What's over here? Four of Wands in the upright. This is called society. This is um, almost like on the outside, it looks like a well-running communicative environment. But you're on the inside fighting to keep your, like your story intact. Something's being distorted. Or on the inside of something, it's abusive and you're trying to find your way out of it. You're trying to turn a new cycle. You're trying to do many things at once. You don't know what you're doing. You're learning as you go. Whoa. Okay. So are you guys confused yet? Because I am. So this kind of looks like the sun card. It's called the globe, but it's not. I don't know what card this is. It's beautiful. It has the sun with a star in it and it has two people in front of a monument. They look like little cherubs. I don't know if you can see that. It's very happy. So you have that below you in your advice. You also have this abuse persecution card right above you. So it feels like it feels like you're running the show. And there's somebody and and you're very very capable. Like you really can do a lot of different things. And this is this feels like your energy, Leo. A lot of fire, even though you've got this abuse card, like someone's hitting you over the head. That's what that feels like. And they're drip feeding you information. You know, it almost feels like someone is setting you up to fail. No way out. But you're not going to. You're, you're really not going to. Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, you have that Knight of Swords in the reverse. So someone keeping information from you or someone who doesn't understand, like I said, like you're learning as you go and you're not only learning it as you go, you're like kicking ass. So whoever this abuse, this abusive card or this abusive communication is trying to stop you from moving ahead, trying to stop you from getting a promotion even, like it's not going to work. Um, I think this person might be jealous of you. You have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Esther. Yeah, this is called success when it's in the upright. This person is pointing their sword right at that success. Pretty sure this card is called success both ways in this deck. Yeah, reuse it. That's success. Someone's sad. So this person, I feel like they're, they try to bring you down because you keep this attitude on you that you're just going forward. Oh, I hear someone at the door. <laughs> it's the goat. <laughs> I wish you could see the door. <laughs> the goat is knocking on the door, standing up, knocking on the door, looking through the window. He wants a piece of bread. So I guess I better cut this short. <laughs> um, it's the funny farm. All right. So yeah, this person, it, this feels like, um, like critical, like overcritical, criticizing your work. Just keep your attitude the same. Keep this happy, can do, I can do anything. This could also be you looking for work or something outside, like, while you're managing all of these duties and learning at the same time and getting drip fed information, but you're keeping it together. Um, like I said, restoring your reputation in something, um, bringing the truth to something and putting it out there because this is four of wands is, is like a show what's displayed 
you're you're repairing something you're repair, repairing some misunderstanding or you're looking really good while you're doing this too and I do feel like there's someone who is trying, um, like they, this is you wanting a second chance at a relationship or a job or some kind of duty, like you want to replay. And at the bottom, you do have these two people, these two cherubs. Maybe you made someone sad. Maybe you have been drip feeding information to someone. And if that's the case, you need to you need to illuminate them. You need to tell them everything. This can also be considered the good wife card. So I'm kind of feeling like this might be for um, a guy who might have been, um, I, don't, I don't want to say abusive, but maybe very harsh in your communication. You have no way out of this except to redeem yourself. So that could be that. It could be saying if there's anything that you haven't communicated fully to someone that you love and you want to stay together, this is saying you need to expose everything you need to, um, everything that you've kept from them you need to. You need to expose it. You need to. Oh, okay. This kind of feels like... Uh, you feel like that's punishing yourself to do that, but actually it's blessing your union by telling the truth about something. So that's what I have for you for January, Leo. And I hope you have a great, uh, a great new year. Love you guys. Bye.